Okay, everybody, we need to stop being lazy with the TH sound in English. If you put in a little effort, it will really help your English sound a lot better. Do I have to? If you get it wrong, I immediately know that you're not a native speaker. And if you get it right, you might actually trick some native speakers into thinking you're more fluent than you actually are. Success! Some learners of English don't think it's that important, or they're just lazy and don't want to put in the effort. It's not even a difficult sound. If you have the s sound in your language, very easily learn the TH sound and sound so much better. First, we're going to go over how to make the two different TH sounds in English, both the hard TH and the soft TH. When you use which sound, I'll give you some rules of thumb, mistakes that non-native speakers make when trying to pronounce the TH sound, and some mistakes, or I guess I should say varieties of the TH sound that are not in standard English pronunciations, but you might find in certain regional dialects. And lastly, I will coach you through a tongue twister that features the TH sound and really get all of those TH sounds uh, under our belt. Let's start with the soft TH sound. Let's start with the S sound. S -s -s -s. We're going to make the same mouth shape as we do with the S S sound, but instead of our tongue being inside our teeth, we're going to bring it out. There's not a big difference between the S sound and the TH sound. In fact, native speakers that have speech problems or have speech impediment, one of the ways it often shows itself is with S sounds becoming TH sounds. One great word to use to practice this is actually from the Star Wars franchise. The bad guys that can use the force are called the Sith. Sith. The Sith. The Sith. The Sith. If you start that word with the S sound, keep that a a a vowel, and you just move your tongue out the entire time you're pronouncing. Sith. 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 This is a great word to practice with because you have the very familiar sound of s that immediately moves into that th sound. You're the Sith Lord. You can even just do the two sounds back and forth. There are a few things to keep in mind when you are pronouncing the soft th. The first being, I need to see your tongue. Tongue? If I cannot see your tongue, if it is not sticking out of your mouth, then you are not pronouncing the TH sound correctly. Now, every once in a while, I get someone that says, Ew, it's weird to be sticking out my tongue when I'm talking to someone. I don't care. I don't care. I, I, I don't care. That's not how English works. I recognize uh, that you have to follow another culture's rules whenever you're speaking that language, when you're in that country. But when you're speaking English, I want to see your tongue, and I want to see it a lot. Other people say, but if I do that, what if I accidentally spit on people? Yeah, yeah, at some point, you're probably going to spit on people. I, as a native speaker, when saying the TH sound, often spit on people, and you deal with it. You just say things like, oh, I'm sorry, did I spit on you? Oh, I didn't mean to spit on you. If you're speaking English, prepare to spit and be spat on. Let's go over some words that have the soft TH sound in it. Think. Three. Tooth. Bath. Now let's move on to the hard TH sound. It's not th, it's th. It's very similar. The mouth shape is the same. The only difference is that you move your vocal cords. In the same way that you go from a S sound s -s -s, to a Z sound, z -z -z, you also do the same going from a soft TH th -th -th, to the hard TH. The, the, the. To form this sound, let's start with that S sound again. S -s -s, move to our soft TH. S -s -s, and then last, let's engage our vocal cords. S <laughs> S 
one thing that you have to remember with this hard TH sound is that you should be able to hold the sound for a long time. What I often see is one of two things. Either it's so close that people cannot continue the sound, or people are releasing the sound and it's very short. It's not that your tongue is hitting it and coming off, it's able to vibrate there if you want, but you're deciding to release it. So what are some words with the hard TH sound? Then, this, smooth, bathe. What are some of the mistakes that I see made with this TH sound? We'll start with the hard TH sound. There are some people, some learners of English, that change the TH to a Z. Z, Zen. Z plane, Z plane. <laughs> However, what I see here in Korea is that the TH becomes what English speakers would recognize as a D. So it's not this, but this. It's not that, but that. And this brings up an interesting point because in some varieties of native English, this is very common. That's right. It is very common to change your hard teaches to D in certain varieties like African American vernacular English. In that case, I would not call that a mistake because it's following the rules of that variety of English. However, if the type of English that you are using or studying does have that hard th and you are not saying it, it sticks out very clearly. So let's move on to the soft th. And what I see mostly here in Korea is that the soft th becomes an s or it becomes a t-like sound. So instead of thank you, I hear thank you or thank you. Both of them are wrong. Both of them do not sound native. I cannot think of a variety of English that the soft th's become s's. So there's much less wiggle room to use another type of sound and be understood. Let's go over when you should be using the hard th sound and when you should be using the soft th sound because you can't tell just from the spelling. I know a lot of people that have a hard time with this and I totally understand, I empathize, but all I can say is, Get over it. Get over it. <laughs> there are some rules of thumb that I will share with you now, but these are not hard and fast rules. Always be on the lookout for exceptions. If the TH comes at the beginning of the word, you need to be thinking, is it a function word or not? And by function word, I mean, are they a pronoun or an article? So things like they, this, them, the, the, their, all of those are function words and so they get the hard TH sound. Everything else, if it comes at the beginning, it's gonna be getting the TH sound. Theme, thin, thick, thimble, thistle. These all get the soft TH sound. Next, let's look at the TH sound when it comes in the middle of the word. If there is a consonant on either side of the TH, then it's probably going to be a soft TH sound. However, if it is surrounded on both sides by two vowel sounds, then it's probably going to be the hard TH, but not always. These are generally the trend, but there are a lot of exceptions. Last things last, if the TH comes at the end of the word and there is not an E after it, it is probably a TH, but there are some exceptions. So you have the word bath, but then you also have the word smooth. But if you have to make a guess, it's probably the soft TH. However, if there is an E after the TH, it is always the hard TH. This would be words like bathe or soothe. Look at my baby right there. He's like passed out. He's like, oh goodness, oh goodness, oh goodness, stretch it. He had a very long day at doggy daycare uh, and he has been just like 
sleeping and recovering. I will leave you with a tongue twister that has both the hard and soft TH sounds as well as some similar sounds that aren't that to trick you up. It took me a while to master it, so if you do not get it right off the bat, do not fret, keep practicing, and you will definitely improve your English pronunciation. I think they will bathe in the South Bath. I think they will bathe in the South Bath. If you're not able to say this sentence from beginning to end with good pronunciation very fluently, I would say take it bit by bit. Don't start at the beginning, start at the end. Bath. South Bath. The South Bath. In the South Bath. Bathe in the South Bath. We'll bathe in the South Bath. They will bathe in the South Bath. Think they will bathe in the South Bath. I think they will bathe in the South Bath. Please do not be lazy with your TH. Put in that effort because it will pay dividends in the months and years and decades that you are studying and just using English in your daily life. Native speakers will understand you better. You will have more confidence because you know that you have the proper pronunciation. Good luck to you and I wish you all the best.